What's up guys, welcome to a new review on a Apple TV app. Um, today we're actually talking about a very um, popular service that has just come to the Apple TV 4, which is the IPA Wind software. Um, for you guys that are not uh, too familiar with regarding their software and their product, I thought we'd just go through their website and show you guys how you can uh, grab this and also what it's about. So um, if you go to ipawind.com, um, as you're greeted there, you'll see that it's uh, clearly telling you that it's a code sign utility app and it has a little bit about um, their service. And I must say, reference to 5,000 plus uh, joined, I know quite a few people that have this service on their uh, iPhones and iPads. Um, and obviously, now with the Apple TV 4, I think it's going to become even more popular. Um, so, beneath there, you'll see that it has got an installation guide it's really really easy um, it tells you a bit about the applications you can get as well and there it highlights obviously now the Apple TV 4 um, the actual service itself is because it's a code utility software it allows you to install like third-party apps and say for example uh, in the jailbreak scene um, if you want say uh, Kodi or you want say Moviebox or you want to install a certain Cydia repository and have um, certain apps from there you can do with this service it's pretty pretty awesome to be honest and it saves a lot of time for people um, installing third party apps on their device plus if obviously a jailbreak is not available and you're missing for example Kodi or Moviebox as you can see there or Playbox you can just basically install it directly from these guys here. Uh, pricing wise you see it's $15 a year so roughly in the UK it's around about £10 at the moment or just under £10 um, so it's really really cheap and then you have access to all the uh, all the bits they do and all the new updates and uh, obviously now with the Apple TV 4 they can see on their tweet uh, schedule there. So, um, so, so far it's so good you can see what it's all about Next stop, we'll jump onto my Apple TV 4 where I've installed it and um, we'll take you through what's available currently on there and we'll talk a bit more about uh, how you install it on your device. Right guys, so I've turned on my Apple TV 4 and now we'll go to proceed to the IPA Wind app which will be at the bottom of my screen on the right hand side. So yeah, basically, um, once you've signed up on the uh, website, which we've just been on, you'll get an email confirmation of your um, purchase and also an e email confirmation of a download link for this file um, and also instructions on how to install it. It literally took me two minutes to install. It's really, really easy. The instructions are really clear and really, really good. Um, it uses a software called ifunbox.com. Uh, so if you go onto that website and download it for Mac or for your Windows and have it ready there and then it'll just speed up the process even more but literally it took me about two minutes to actually download um, onto, uh, onto the Apple TV 4. So because um, it's obviously a code utility uh, program and it's the world's first one obviously for the Apple TV 4 it's really really cool because um, Jailbreaks for the Apple TV 4 don't come around that often and obviously now with the Apple TV 4 which you can sideload um, apps um, it's, it's become really easy to install like third party um, software and apps that you can run on this device. Now if you're running a Mac, if you've got a Mac and you've got Xcode and you're familiar with GitHub and, and that sort of stuff you can, yes you can do that uh, yourself but if you're having, if you haven't got a Mac or Xcode, and you're not, or if you're not familiar with siloing apps, for fifteen dollars, uh, it does it all for you, and it's really, really easy. So if we go into IPA Wind, and currently they've got six uh, apps ready on uh, their software. Um, obviously, as more come available, they'll be added to the service. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting there'll be quite a few coming soon. One of my favourites is um, the TV OS browser. That's you know really really cool so we'll go and install this and I'll show you how easy it is to do so once you click um, obviously I've just mine's already been generated but once you click it you will say you have a download ready um, to install on your device and wherever the email come from from the iPad one to your email address go to your emails and it'll be directly sent to you 
uh, and literally go onto there and it says your link is ready to download. So you go back to your iFund box which you currently got your Apple TV plugged into and I will click install on for me and you'll see it appear on the Apple TV screen which is uh, so like I say it's really really easy. So once you've installed it so I've literally just clicked that so it's installing my Apple TV and we'll go outside the screen and there you can see guys it is there and we'll click on it I'll show you guys it's all running up and clear and like you see there guys it's really really easy and it's working perfect so um, yeah this is um, IPA Wind it's really really cool is it worth the $15? of course it is worth the $15 um, it's it's um, a sort of get out jail card for people that are not familiar with side loading on the Apple TV 4 Again, this is not just for Apple TV, it's obviously for the iPad and iPhones and stuff like that, iPod Touches, and it works as well as that on here. Again, if you haven't got a jailbreak for your iPhone uh, or your iPod Touch or iPad and you want to install apps such as Kodi or Moviebox, then basically you can sign up, um, install this, and then you can have Kodi and Moviebox and Playbox and all those sort of things and Cydia uh, repositories on your device on a non jailbroken device. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.